<laughs> Shalom, we're almost there. I'm tired. We're going to have a Shabbos party when we get there. Don't you want a Shabbos party? I don't Gutavis, you need a lift? Meet Kosher Car, an amazing technology facilitating transportation on Shabbos, making Chilo Shabbos impossible. Everyone who observes Shabbos has struggles when it comes to transportation. One Shabbat afternoon in the zone camp while hiking up the mountain, me and my friends got tired and stopped and said, isn't this the 21st century? With the help of many rabbis and technicians here in the zone, we have invented a new method that enhances the enjoyment and observance of Shabbos. And that's how the kosher car was born. The kosher car operates just like any other car, with an engine that runs on gasoline and with gas and brake pedals to control it. When the kosher car is switched into Shabbat mode, the engine is turned on and the gas flow is kept at a consistent speed. The only things keeping the car from moving are powerful Shabbat brakes, which hold the car from moving throughout Shabbat. When it's time to drive, the car is operated by slightly pressing on the gas pedal, which is merely a lever that releases the brakes just a bit, allowing the car to drive on its own. As the driver places more pressure on the gas pedal, the brakes are released even more, thus allowing the driver to control the car's speed without violating the Shabbat prohibition of adding fuel to the flame. In order to prevent the brake pads from getting rubbed out quickly, the kosher car comes with a package of brake pad replacements, which are designed to be easily replaced by the customer every week before using the car in Shabbat mode. Kosher switch technology is also used to operate the brake lights and all the other electronic components of the car. The kosher car is now expected to be approved by rabbis to be permissible to be used on Shabbat because all the driver is doing is moving a lever that is connected to a brake. But there's one more problem, and that is carrying on Shabbat. That is why a kosher car cannot be driven without mirrors. There's another problem, Mara sign. It looks like we're breaking Shabbat. For that reason, we changed the car's color to a very, very bright color. But this is all useless unless the rabbis agree. The rabbis feel that this is not in the spirit of Shabbat, so we're not going to release this car until the rabbis permit it. Will the kosher car ever be released? We can only wait and see. But until then, us Zoniacs have this to say about it. Shabbos is a gift from God. Whether we'll walk or drive, we will embrace it either way. Shabbos is an opportunity. We won't look for ways to get out of it. Shabbos is ours and we'll embrace it forever.